Are you trying to play Dwarf Fortress and get stuck with the screen like this? Stick around for a minute and I'll show you how to make it work. So the reason that we're seeing this is that Dwarf Fortress is not lined up with the version Dwarf Hack wants it to be. So if you press Escape, it will bypass it and force Dwarf Fortress to play. But the best method to actually fix this is to revert a certain file back to its original state so that we can actually play the game as its original version as opposed to with DF Hack installed. So if we quit out of here and we look at our actual instructions from the website, you can view how to install and download and uninstall. And what we want to do is essentially uninstall the DF hack so it's not looking for certain files. So when you go into the actual, actually, why don't we start by pretending to do a full install? So if you haven't ever seen it, you go to your common folder which is located in Steam Apps, and you find your Dwarf Fortress folder. And all you're really going to do to install is to drag all of these files into this location. And when it prompts you, you're going to, to overwrite all the files. Now, I've done that. So what we need to do to fix the game, because right now, if we look at a certain error, from what I'm understanding it's telling us, is that the PE timestamp of the game, which I'm thinking is the version, doesn't align with one of the versions that it's looking for. So what that does is allows DF hack will now deactivate. So this error message is basically telling me that DF hack isn't lining up with Dwarf Fortress version, that Dwarf Fortress is telling the scripts is what it is. So essentially what we have to do according to the website is all we have to do is change the SDL file with the SDL real file. So when you installed the game, it uh, replaced that with the backup file. Essentially, that's what that file is. So when we go into here, there's a couple of ways we can do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the SDL.dll file. And on this one, we're going to double click or right click and rename. And we're going to remove real. We're going to call it the original file. And essentially, that's uninstalled DF hack. Now, you could go in and remove certain folders, but they shouldn't actually do anything to hinder that. So basically, I leave the files where they are. And if we go back to Steam now and click play, it should be able to boot up without trying to tell us that DF hack isn't running because we've uninstalled it. So it's not that much of an inconvenience, but what this is telling us is that is why your DF hack isn't working right now. It's because it's not matching the proper game version. And that's largely to do because of the Arena update that just came out a couple days ago. So until they update DF Hack, if we go and look at their releases, this was updated last week. Whereas the Arena update came out two days ago as of this. So they probably need to update this to Alpha 3.1 or 3. Point, sorry, this is 3.1, so it needs to go to 3.2 or however they decide that they label stuff. This version needs to be updated. So the best way to keep an eye out for when that happens is to be on the GitHub where you originally downloaded the files. And if you even can't get to download the files, the main thing, if I recall correctly, is you need an account to actually get to the place where you want to download it. So being on this page, basically what you want to do is just scroll down a bit and they tell you how to download right here, this link, download DF hack. So we're going to click on this link and when we scroll down, there's going to be files that you're able to download. So you scroll all the way down and there they have. So this is the file that we were just using to extract into it. But we know that doesn't currently work. So essentially what you want to do, yeah, is just keep an eye on this main page here. And once we see this version change, there's a good good possibility that it's going to be compatible with the current version of Dwarf Fortress. But this is a common thing in all games to do with mods and updates and while development is happening. It's very hard for the developers of uh, separate products outside of the game, mods and stuff like that, to actually keep up with what the developers are doing because they don't release that information. So, essentially, that's explaining why your DF hack isn't currently working, how to get it back to normal, and when the time comes, how to download it and install it for you. 
I hope that made sense, everybody. Thanks for coming by in for the win. I'm Sin. We'll see you in the future.